Say, I smell money. I smell money. I didn't say, uh, I said on the count of three. Y'all, if this was Simon Says, y'all would have lost. One, two, three. I smell money. I smell money too. Ladies and gentlemen, next poem coming to the stage. Y'all ready for the next poem tap? Together for Maya Moolah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how y'all doing? All right. Okay. Uh, I don't have a name for my poem, so yeah, check my poem. It was her first day at a new school. All she really wanted was to be cool. She understood that what people thought didn't matter, but she began to see a recurrent pattern. A need to feel wanted and loved. She had everything she wanted and needed, but honestly, none of it really mattered. Her past was full of failure. The most peculiar girl trying to not be shown, hiding behind a false image of who she really was. The goal is to be accepted, right? So she observed every day to figure out what role she, had, she needed to play. After her daily search for a new personality, she met a girl who was as weird as she was, but camouflaged it so much better than her. She had an excess amount of sass with little to no class. Respecting class is what the girl thought she had, but boy, this mindset is what turned her situation all bad. She changed for the social fame. She, did, she didn't really care if the wild fire in her heart may have needed to be tamed. The girl, had, the girl had created a beast and drama was its main feast. Funny thing was, all the drama occurred between her closest friends. It took almost losing herself to the nonsense to see what this quote-unquote self-improvement had began. Don't get me wrong, being Queen B was also fun. But what about that higher power? The one that gives love no matter if it's praise. So she decided to wear her she decided to wear her face and give that mask away.